in this video, we are now connecting Linux devices to Nagio. So I have here one Linux, which is Linux 2, and the IP address, Ubuntu, the IP address of this Linux is 192.168.199.138. Make sure that both of them should be on the same network, like NAT. This Nagio server also is under NAT. That means that you're on the same network or subnet. Your host name here under Linux is um, Ubuntu 22.04. So uh, once you reach to this step, just clearing my screen, um, that's something that you should configure it under your Nagio server. So we have different type of configuration that is located here under CD user, local Nagio's ETC. So here, look, we have the objects and Nagio's configuration. First of all, nano Nagio's DFG here, you will enable your local host, which is for Linux. You see that definition monitoring for Linux. And this is for Windows. So you're gonna enable also for Windows. That we are going to do this one later. Under objects, so if you go to objects, then you have this configuration. One of them is local host configuration, which is for Linux operating system nano local host.cfg. So here you're defining the host, uh, your Linux host, like host name. As I said, my host name is Ubuntu-2204. So you put it here, uh, Ubuntu, Dash twenty two zero four. So I'm I try to copy this part, and you can put the alias name as, for example, Linux. And then IP address is the IP address of your Linux one nine two one six eight one nine nine one thirty eight. So one nine two one six eight one nine nine one thirty eight. And you do the same thing for any local host that you have. So here also you have a local host. And I'm pasting here for local host. This one also, this, this one checks the ping. This one check, um, what is that, this one? is checking disk uh, partitions, your local disk partition. This one checking current user. And then this one is checking your total process. This one is checking your current load. And this one is swap usage. I'm putting the host name. And uh, also this one is your SSH, last one. I think we don't have any more. Oh yeah, one more. HTTP is also here. Is it the last one? Yeah. So. Then save that one. I mentioned also, once you check, change the configuration, you want to che check it that your configuration is correct or not. Um, so you, you can do it this way. User local Nagus bin Nagus then dash 
v then user local nagios etc nagios the cfg so you see that we don't have any error or warning here so total error and warning is zero then you do system ctl restart nagios okay so once you restart then um, you will check here your host you see that ubuntu is up now and if you check the status you see that current load users pings and the others is coming up but this one takes few minutes like you see that now total process is up it's coming one by one once you're preparing your document or taking a screenshot make sure this all should be green otherwise you lose mark so just wait or you can force it from here um, there is an option here reschedule next one so then force it from here and maybe it takes more time this one um, you see that the next one also is coming wait until uh, all of this becomes green okay then the next one that we are doing is windows operating system so i have one windows 10 here also um, i hope this one is not part of active directory so we can do so make sure this one also is part of your NAT configuration. So is it? Um, then there is like a, a software which is called NS NS Client. I should download that software. So you go to the internet and. Okay, that's cause issue. So ns nsclient.org. So then you go and you download NS Client. So here we have preview. Um where is that oh yeah when we are doing msi version in 32 or we have here also um x64 right so we download this one not showing download folder so I'm going from here yeah so then you install it next so here is generic option typical and once you reach to this step you should enter your Nagios IP address so what is the Nagios IP address mm, you can check it from here also if config oops if config one nine two one six eight one nine nine one thirty seven so one nine two one six eight one nine nine one thirty seven we don't need a passport for this one enable NS client server and safe mode and that's it next and it's done. So we have already enabled nagios.config. So this file, go here, uh, one upper folder. I did it in previous step. Nano nagios cfg. So if you look at that one, I 
uncommon this section, which is for Windows. Now we can go to the Windows CFG file. So CD object, and here nano windows.cfg file. So uh, so to make it easier because uh, I put this one, you see that desktop is very long name. I'm gonna change or rename this PC to, for example, Win 10. That makes your steps easier. So, I restart it. Because uh, now you wanna put the host name, right? So if you have a long name, then cause the issue. So I put this one as like Win 10, like that. I try to copy this one also. Um, okay, and then this is like my. You can write the alias name as Windows 10. So with the IP address one ninety one six eight one nine nine one. Uh, let's check it from here. NCPA dot CPN and the IP address was one ninety one six eight one nine nine one thirty five. So uh, I put it here. One thirty five. And if you check your host name like is win 10 right is better than that long name so then uh, i will change this host name like i could put win server was easier than this win 10 uh, but anyway I did it this way, win 10, and the same thing for this one. Uh, so these are like parameters that you're receiving for host, a uh, memory usage, CPU load. With that uh, software as client. So I changed the host name also for this one. Oh yeah, this is also is the last one. Okay. So once you configure this part, um, then check the previous command that I mentioned, like this one, user local Nagus. This, fill, this one va uh, verify that your configuration is correct. So it's again, total warning error is zero. And one of the things that we didn't change, uh, it was under uh, here, the uh, program file and as client plus plus and there is like INI file uh, this file so if you look at this file like most of the things should be enabled so you see that check system is disabled, make that one also as enabled. Uh, check disk as enabled. Also, you can check this one. Check event logs, enable, enable. And also, 
this one also enable. So I enable most of the things that we need. Oh, this is also tricky. So it doesn't allow you to copy on the C drive. So uh, copy it on on your desktop. Once you have done, then look copy from desktop and paste it here again. So we will ask for permission. Yeah, then you can continue this way. So if there is like a service here, so you can go under services. You see that there is, um, should be an S client monitoring services, which is running now. You can restart this service to make sure that your service is running. And uh, also under Nagus uh, system CTL, Na restart Nagus. So that will restart your Nagus server. Uh, so most of the things is like, um, you see that Windows 10 now is pending. Ubuntu, I think that we did for previous one. You see most of them are okay. The only HTTP because maybe we don't have an Apache, that's why it the review that one. That's okay. Um, let's come back to Windows. 192.168.199. Uh, 135. Am I correct? Let's check it from here also. IP config 192.168.199.135. 135. Also make sure that your firewall here maybe cause the issue. Um, I turn on my turn off my firewall. Um, because Nagus wants to grab some data. And uh, you see that Windows 10 is up. Also, if you check the details, look, C drive, getting some information from C drive. 19 gig I have on C drive, 12 gig is used. So if you check it with your Windows operating system, you see that here on C drive, you see, um, that, that shows you have a 19 gig, six gig is free, and the rest of that is around 12 gig is used. So um, the last part should be like showing um, these items. So all of them should be green, okay? 